Today, Governor Ron DeSantis announced he is lifting statewide restrictions on youth and recreational sports and summer camps in Florida. We told you about the governor's plan in a push alert. If you received it, you can open it up for more information. DeSantis says despite lifting these restrictions, parents need to use their own judgment. This is a parent's decision. No parent is required to have their kid. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, then don't do it, and that's fine. And, and I think that the parents are in the best places to make those decisions. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett joining us live now with how sports and camp organizers are now getting ready for children to return. Jim? Well, this is what they want to see. Take a look. There's a father and son out here just hitting the balls around here. We're at the Hendricks Avenue Athletic Association field here off of San Jose, Hendricks Avenue. And this is what the mayor and the governor are talking about. They think it's important to get kids back out on the ball fields. But in order to do this, the city still has a lot of work they need to end up doing to get it all organized. Jeremy Bridgman and his son Ezekiel love playing ball, and they were happy to learn Governor DeSantis is going to allow youth sports to get back underway. And with Ezekiel being out, that would be not a concern for you? No, I don't think it would be a concern for me. It would be a concern for you, Ezekiel? No, I really like baseball. It's really been hard staying inside and not being able to do anything because we can't go to the library, so I can't get any books to read. That's why Governor DeSantis and Mayor Curry believe it's time to let kids be kids. How can we get kids involved in a way that parents feel good about it? And it, to echo what the governor said, some parents may just not feel good about it, and that'll be a personal decision. Now the city is working on its plan on how to bring this all together. The mayor says he hopes to have more details sometime next week. We talked today with the head of the Police Athletic League. That group is gearing up for local sports and summer camp programs that would involve over 1,000 kids. With any sports, you know that that's going to be a challenge, you know, keeping kids um, away from each other, touching each other's surfaces and things like that. We're still going to do our um, best to make sure that we keep kids safe. And that's exactly what the city is working on. They're going to get that plan and they're going to make it available sometime next week in order to get the kids to camp and on the ball fields. We're live on the south side at the Henry's Athletic Association. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.